Everything is clean. All the liquids are put away where they belong. Tess is a dog. And I got that clean also. Can't do anything about the boxes still. Can't do anything about those boxes. Or that ladder. I mean, I could take it out by myself, but then I have to leave the door open. And I don't want my cats getting out. Or my dog getting out. So it's a two-man job. Okay, so on the 10th, which is a couple more days away, is Zach's birthday. And we were supposed to get him a tattoo for his birthday. We were all going to get a tattoo, actually, on his birthday. Except for Josie, which is Matt's wife, which is our roommate's. Um, but Matt, Zach, and I were all planning on getting tattoos for Zach's birthday. But with what's going on with the... Um, protesters and the rioting and everything like that the boys felt uncomfortable living in a house without a gun so they went off and bought a gun so we're not getting tattoos because that's just a lot of money to spend <laughs> so now we have a gun in the house for safety reasons I'm not comfortable with it in the house because I'm not comfortable with guns around me because I used to be suicidal so <laughs> Um, I'm not suicidal anymore. I'm on the right medication, but because I was suicidal, I still get a little bit iffy with anything that's dangerous around me, like razors or knives and stuff like that. I still use knives, but I'm still hesitant about the mean presence with me because I was so bad when I was suicidal that it was just, it was just a mess. <laughs> Sorry about the loud noises in the background. My cats are messing with stuff. I will be showing you guys what I've gotten for Christmas soon. I am still waiting for two more things to show up, of course. And then I'll just show you like a huge thing, like just of the items of what I got, the books that I got mostly. But I did get my ring. See? Let's see if I can doesn't want to focus doesn't want to doesn't want to focus it's right here you can't see it but it's right here right here I promise <laughs> um, either way it's a cultic ring but um, I was going to get a tattoo with the root with the, um, I'm trying to think of the right term of it I want to see Viking runes, but that's not the right term for it. Um, but that's around the, the time period and those type of runes that I was going to get. Um, that said warrior. And I was going to have it on my wrist above all my scars. Uh, but that's not happening now. Uh, I, got, I even started setting up an appointment and everything. Now I'm starting to blur, I'm sorry. But yes, um... I even, fo I even set up an appointment and then he's like, oh, we're going to go buy a gun, so just cancel on that tattoo. I'm like, <laughs> I was just setting it up, Zach. <laughs> so now we have a gun. So stay safe with everything that's going on. I know this won't be up until like the end of January, but stay safe uh, with everything that's going on. I can't believe what's going on right now. This world is just going down downhill right now. You thought that 2021 was going to be a better year and it seems like it's starting off with a fresh start of 2020. <laughs> so, yeah. But I'm trying to just remain positive and eat healthy. Well, not eat healthy. I don't have any healthy food in the house. Um, but remain healthy, exercise, stay on routine with the, my um, journaling and everything like that. And so on, so I'll keep you guys up to date on all of that. Hey guys, it's January 11th. Yesterday was Zach's birthday, and we went to the firing range. For, for me, it was the first time. So I actually did a pretty good job. Let me show you. Did a pretty good job shooting for the first time. I mean, I didn't make it into the, like, the orange part, but I did shoot the head a couple of times. <laughs> so, I did a pretty good job. We used a handgun. 
a, uh, I think he calls it the M9 shield. I don't know, don't quote me on that. That's our gun we, that he purchased. So I got to shoot that for the first time. And it was fun. I wasn't expecting it to be that fun because I have a thing about guns because I'm mentally disabled. So I'm not allowed, I don't think I'm allowed to have a carrying license. So, in that part. But, Zach is, and he got a carrying license. It just hasn't arrived in the mail yet. It could take up to six weeks. And then after that, we went out to eat. And then we went to Hobby Town, and he got himself a big, big gun. Now, let me go show you how big this thing is. It's huge. Look how big this thing is. Let's, let's, let's compare it. This is my hand. And this is the box. <laughs> it's huge. It costed quite a bit of money too. So we had to take money out of savings just to purchase it. So, yeah, in that part. I'm out of breath already. I've been working out for the last five weeks. And I feel like I still haven't had gotten anywhere like with energy and breathing wise. Cause I still run out of air, like air very quickly, but I also have asthma, so that could just be that. So I'm trying, guys. I've lost 10, 10 to 11 pounds since I've moved here, and um, I won't find out how much I've lost within this month until the end of the month. So I guess I'll keep you guys up to date on that because I know some of you guys were wondering if it's possible to lose weight on medication um, and how to. But we'll see because I've been working really hard on it. Um, I've been using the app FitOn. It's F I T O N. FitOn. And so on. So I just want to update you guys on Zach's birthday. I didn't bring you guys because I wasn't sure if I was allowed to film in there. But then I saw a couple people filming on their, like, their phones and stuff like that. I was like, man, I should have filmed. I can't film on my phone because. Um, when I try to upload it to the computer, it doesn't upload, it does something else. I don't know what it does, but it doesn't allow me to upload anything onto my computer. So, from my phone, that is. So, I can't do that with the phone. I've tried. Just recently, recently as in, like, the last time I tried it, it wouldn't let me do it at all. So, eh. that's why I bought this camera, because I couldn't film vlogs with my phone anymore so I bought a camera and paid it off within a couple of months yeah I'm out of breath I'm gonna go back to work so I hope to see you in the next part of the vlog hey guys so I bought Zach this model kit for his birthday on the 10th and it's supposed to light up but it's not lighting up. Luckily he didn't build the entire kit yet and he just tested the lights to make sure they were working and they weren't working except for like one light out of them all. So now I'm trying to call Hobby Town where I purchased it and they told me to call someone else and they all supposed to send um send uh parts for it but I sent them an email first and if they don't get back to me by the end of the day I'll call them. But, this just shows you if you spend money on something, you better test it before you build it fully. Luckily, he didn't. But we can't return it. We tried. They told us that we can't return it once it's open and started. So, that sucks. We spent like $269 on this one big... Like, look how big this thing is. This thing is huge. But we're trying, at least I'm trying, to figure out what's wrong with it since we we went, we lost $269 because of it. So, wish us luck. Hey guys, it's January 22nd. I was waiting for all my packages to arrive before I did this part of the video. But one has not arrived and it's been a, like a month since I've ordered it. So, I'm just going to do this video, part of the video anyways. And it's a bike... Yeah, it's me showing you what I bought myself for Christmas with the $100 Amazon gift card. Most of it is just books, so. <laughs> but 
So about that. <laughs> but I also got a ring from Zach, which was from Etsy. So let me show you. The top ring is the ring that Zach got me. Um, let me see if I can take it off and show you. It's supposed to be a Celtic ring. Uh, I don't remember what stone this is, but it's a real stone. And it's 925. So, it doesn't really fit my finger, so it slides off easily. So that's kind of a good thing, that means I'm losing weight. <laughs> but this is the ring that he got me. Oop, I dropped it. I got the Percy Jackson series, book two, The Sea of Monsters. Because I'm reading book one and I really like it. Yes, I read like middle grade books, which is okay because it's easier to read and it doesn't give you so much of a headache when you read them. I got Sons of Cain, a history of serial killers from the Stone Age to the present by Peter Vronsky. I think that's how you suppose or pronounce his name. It's about different serial killers, which I have a lot of books like this. Like I have a whole shelf of just serial killer true crime books. Because it's just part of my life that I enjoy. Um, plus I do it for Between Mantras and Men. I got a Cryptid Creatures Field Guide book, which has different cryptids in it. That wasn't a cryptid, that was a real life actual fish. But it has nice pictures and everything like that. And Tales of Cryptids that may or may not exist. This is a big book. It's thin, but it's big. And it talks about the Loch Ness Monster, Bigfoot, Sea Serpents, etc, etc. These books, like I said, I get for Between Monsters and Men, plus I enjoy the topics. And then there's this one, Wiser Field Guide to tri Cryptozoology. Werewolves, Dragons, Skyfish, lizard men. And other fan fascinating creatures, real or mysterious. Sorry, I could not read it from that far. And it's a decent sized book, which is good. Which is good. So yeah. So news update. Our Leaking has gotten worse. We thought we fixed it, but it's gotten worse. So now we have to call it a plumber, or we're going to be calling a plumber with our home insurance to fix the plumbing. And we also need a new he uh, water heater. So that's some news about what's going on with us. Just to let you guys know, because I know you guys like to keep up to date with what's going on with me. So that's what's going on with me. So I just went on Amazon and I'm trying to request a refund for that one book that didn't show up. It's part of the Outlander series. I don't know which book it is. But it's part of the Outlander series. And it's called The Fiery Cross. I don't know which number it is. So, hmm. I'm still in the first book, but I really, really enjoy it. So I have a couple of, a couple of the books already saved up for me when I finished the first book. I'm like halfway through the first book. It's a, it's not a hard read, it's just it feels like it takes forever to read this one. So yeah, I'm about that. It's just taking my time reading it, I guess. Plus I got several other books that I'm reading at the same time right now. I always read more than one book at the same time. I always do that. So yeah. I keep saying so yeah, sorry about that. <laughs>